What is up everyone? Welcome back to Whales and Locks and uh, today's video we're gonna be looking at number 23 Kansas at number 17 West Virginia. The line in this game is West Virginia minus two and the over and under is 141 and a half. So this is the second time these two teams have matched up in the in the Big 12 here with Kansas winning the first matchup back on December 22nd, 79-65. So, so pretty, pretty easily won that game. On the Kansas side, they're sitting at 12-6 and six on the season, 6-4 and four in the Big 12, which puts them in at 5th in the conference. This has been a theme across all of college basketball this season, and it, and it certainly has hit Kansas in its, in its own way as well here. The Blue Bloods of college basketball are really struggling this year. COVID has really impacted a lot of these usual great teams. Kansas, not so much as others. They've still had a decent season, not quite like some of the Dukes, uh, the Michigan States, but they've certainly had, had their issues. Uh, their issue is just simply they lack scoring at the perimeter. Uh, similar to Michigan State, Bill Self has really had a hard time finding a go-to bucket getter for them this season um, that Self usually has throughout all of his Kansas career. I think Kansas's confidence was absolutely shot when they played Texas earlier this year at home and lost by 25. It's really hard to recover after a loss like that. Um, Kansas has gone 4-4 four and four since then, really struggled, um, only beating TCU twice, Kansas State, and then a good win against Oklahoma. Um, on the West Virginia side, they sit at 12-5 and five on the year, 5-3 and three in the Big 12, uh, which puts them at third in the conference. West Virginia was hit hard by a COVID pause about three weeks ago, and it's, and it's just starting to get their rhythm back, and they've been playing better lately. So uh, losing Oster to Shibuya was was definitely a huge loss for them, um, and it hurts their potential to do damage when it comes to tournament time. Uh, but they're led by their guards, Miles McBride, and their big man, Derek Culver. Uh, to be frank, I just think this West Virginia team is on a whole other level than Kansas this season. I really thought this line would be somewhere around West Virginia minus five, minus six. But to be getting it at minus two, I feel like it's, it's robbery here. I think the play here is an absolute lock at West Virginia minus two. And I'm really confident in this pick. And I think West Virginia is an absolute steal here at minus two. 